Governor Gavin Newsom tonight delivering one of the most important speeches of his political career. Facing the possibility of a recall and a state buckling under the economic and emotional pressures of the pandemic, the governor tried to remind Californians why they mm -hmm. elected him. KKL 9 political reporter Tom White is live at Dodger Stadium where the governor delivered his speech to an empty stadium. Tom. And Juan and Patty, a very powerful location to deliver this speech. Anyone who's been to Dodger Stadium knows what a surreal scene it is there right now. It's a mass vaccination site. So when you drive in, it really does something to you emotionally. Tonight, the governor fighting back during his speech saying he is getting the state vaccinated and he is getting it back open for business. To dream of brighter days. Ahead. Governor Gavin Newsom delivering his state of the state speech in an empty Dodger Stadium. The 56,000 empty seats symbolizing about the same number of Californians killed by COVID 19. 54,000, 54,395 Californians we now mourn with broken hearts. That's almost the exact same number of empty seats behind me. Newsom also wanted to highlight Dodger Stadium as a place of hope. Instead of fans in the stands, we see nurses and PPE saving lives one injection at a time. The governor claimed under his leadership, California maintained one of the lowest COVID death rates per capita in the nation, but also acknowledged people of color were dying at a much faster pace. And when this pandemic ends, and it will end soon, we're not going to go back to normal because I think we all agree normal was never good enough. You know, normal accepts inequity. That's why Latinos are dying from COVID at a higher rate than any other racial or ethnic group. On reopenings, the governor said businesses are getting more grant money. The state is offering more aid to families and opening schools. Every single day, more and more schools are announcing reopening dates. In fact, almost 7,000 schools are now open or plan to reopen by mid-April for in-person instructions. Newsom's address comes as his political foes claim they have the signatures to trigger a recall election. Those signatures are still being reviewed by the state. Newsom did not directly mention the recall but said this. So to the California critics out there who are promoting partisan political power grabs with outdated prejudices and rejecting everything that makes California truly great, we say this. We will not be distracted from getting shots in arms and our economy booming again. Senator Scott Wilk here just finished watching uh, Governor Newsom's third annual State of the State address. California Republicans slammed Newsom's speech. And my takeaway is this, California under Governor Newsom is no longer the golden state. He absolutely has no plan for how to get our kids back in school. He has no plan for how to improve EDD and he has no plan on how to get are people vaccinated in the very small in person audience? One of Newsom's staunchest allies, LA Mayor Eric Garcetti, who says the governor did what he needed to do in his address. At a moment when we have, you know, a pandemic to finish off, when we have an economic downturn to climb out of, the last thing we need is a hundred million dollars in politics and another election. Aren't we sick and tired of that? Loyola law professor and political analyst Jessica Levinson. I think the recall campaign is going to live or die on vaccinations and school openings. I don't think that this speech is going to be the end all be all for the recall campaign. What we saw tonight is a governor who appeared either nervous and or on the defensive. It seemed like he was making his case without ever mentioning the word recall that he deserves to be governor. Newsom did try to maintain a tone of optimism, even with all the bad news that we have faced over the course of the past year and said that California is poised for a major comeback. Reporting live outside Dodger Stadium, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks so much, Tom.